Welcome to a very spooky stream. I'm unfortunately not in an outfit. I'm actually looking a little rattier than usual. I don't know. Maybe this is this is Halloween Lawrence. Imagine like a early 90s goth Edward Scissorhands kind of look. Frosty has redeemed a trading card. Yes, we have a lot of brisk business at the start of the stream here. Um, we got uh, to kick things off. NB. NB the sponge. 50 subs. The, uh, the alerts have already been going for a while, but NB loaded it up. So we get to see a bunch of humorous internet gifts. Although that reminds me, I've got like... Now that I have a technology solution in place, I can just like dump everything in there. I can do it all. So even more uh, silly internet clips and whatnot. But thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Uh, I feel like a lot. I feel like it's more than I deserve. Sitting here having a good time like I am. Uh, but still, thank you, Slender's Pep. Thank you for gifting five subs. Awfully generous of you. Pancake Speedy, Jetholomew, and Alonzo Flowers. Thank you all very much. There's a vampire right there, ostensibly. There, there he is. There's the, there's our guy. Haven't found him though. He'll, he's around here somewhere. All right, Alonso, let's draw your card. Or excuse me, Frosty is me. Frosty is me. Let's draw. Your card is this. Oh, oh, very poignant. And probably outdated. Hold on a minute. Yeah, this game might might slaughter the Twitch encoder, but there's a new expansion, so it probably won't get too wacky for a while. The Ninth Decision 1992 Electoral College Card. So you can carry this around, and at any moment you'll know, circa 1992, how many electors each state would send to the Electoral College. The most logical an ordinary part of American government. Voting in the Electoral College is based on a state's total representation in the U.S. Congress. 435 in the House and 100 in the Senate, plus the 23rd Amendment, three votes for Washington, D.C. This brings the total to 538. Candidates who have gotten on the ballot in each state have electors totaling the number allotted in that state. For example, since California has 54 electoral votes, Republicans, Democrats, and other legal parties have 54 electors. On general election day in November, every four years, the popular vote determines which set of electors has won in each state. So yes, please get out and vote, folks in the United States. Uh, it's kind of important. Uh, more important than ever, really. Maybe the last chance to, uh, to make sure that we get to vote in the future. But if you're not into the whole voting thing, uh, then I guess don't worry about it. But you should probably worry about it. All right. Thank you very much for watching the stream. Thank you very much for those channel points. Those are going right into my uh, retirement account. The thing is, I don't know what retirement looks like for me. Because this is it. Uh oh. Another tab at Vampire Survivors is doing things. Uh, Necrovore666. Very topical name today. Thank you. The sub, Lance Denton. Thank you as well. Thank you. Didn't expect to be doing so much thanking right off the top. Oh, ah. Oh, I was about to say. All right, sorry. Uh, Operation Rude Boy. Thank you for the sub. Uh, what was I? Okay. Yeah, I do have to take a break at some point to do notes on the Brought You This Thing edit. I don't think it's an adventure. Yeah, it's just in the game. Also, the unlocks got a little got a little wonged, a little wanged. There's a lot of stuff I've done that it doesn't count me as doing for some reason. But we got new stuff. Actually, maybe the patch fixed it. That can happen sometimes. Oh wait, hold on, I need to turn the, turn the audio back up. Option. Oh, 
Okay. All right. All right a minute. Start. Also, I, I've unlocked a lot of characters that are now locked, which is weird. I did all the Contra stuff. Or I guess I did the Contra stuff inside of the adventure. Not out in the main game. All right. Simondo Belmont. He doesn't need guns. Then I guess there's a... Yeah, Ode to Castlevania level. Oh yeah, I got a... Ooh. Nice. Interesting. Good shit. Uh, I forgot everything I was saying. Doesn't matter. Video games. Uh, it's the first one. I'll turn hurry off. I don't know what weapon I have. Oh, I guess there's one that tr sort of shows it to you. The one that gives you more, more stuff, <laughs> more things. I like that they shrink the icons. It's nice. Yes, I received a code. That's what I was gonna say. Oh my gosh. I received an Xbox code for this expansion. Where's the one that gives you like plus one? Oh, there we go. Oh, I. I only have, I have I have the bone? I guess I have nothing. Oh whatever. Yeah, I have no weapon. I guess I gotta go pick one up. Okay. Uh alright. We'll go towards the green arrow. Drum kicks though, huh? Is this is this normal? Great. Oh, vampire survivors. Okay. I guess I can pick up a weapon now. Do you really just have to wait for a bomb? Also, why is it I guess it's it's still Konami, so it's just Doing all the Konami things. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you auto attack in this, Mugsy Bogue. There, since Vampire Survivors has come out, there have been a ton of games that have started iterating on this idea that really all you do is is move around. There's a little more nuance to it than that, though, because, like, a lot of the weapons have very different and unique behaviors. Some will attack what's closest to you, some just kind of fire randomly. Others pierce, others bounce off the walls. Yeah, this music is awesome. All right. Maybe I was supposed to buy something from the merchant? Go get the... Yeah, Brotato is, is fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. It's weird because I wasn't expecting to like it, but I think like a lot of... Like a lot of these games that do end up consuming me. I dismiss it at the beginning, but then I, I find myself playing like 15 hours of it. I just go... Oh! Map. Get. Right. You, you can zoom in? Oh. Oh. It looks like there's still a chunk down to the south that isn't even explored. 
Tegze? <laughs> oh. You mean, uh... Are you referring to, uh... Was it Life is Strange? With your sub-message of Tell Me Why in all caps? Or perhaps... Are you a Backstreet Boys fan? What is this? Oh! On to boss, I guess. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Is that what they were going for with Life is Strange? Were they actually referencing that song? I do kind of feel like Nostalgic Millennials is sort of the, the market of Life is Strange. Ugh. All right, boss vanquished. All right, I guess I'll keep exploring. Neat, I think. Kind of weird that this character doesn't have a weapon, though. Looks like he's holding a bomb and has a guitar on his back. Should have looked at the uh, the unlocks. I guess you usually get one for just surviving 30 minutes or surviving long, long enough with a particular character. Hello, White Buffalo. We are indeed in the Bone Zone. I don't know what this does. I guess it makes me attack faster. It is a day for frights and terrors. Ghastly apparitions. Oh, there's also the... I see the little often marker to unlock another character. It's pretty close, too. Love that Life is Strange isn't for people who were kids at that age in that era. It's for people who grew up in the aughts, romanticizing experience of growing up in the 90s. It, yeah, I could see that, too. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't... Cons I can't be part of that group, just temporarily speaking. I think it actually... I think it speaks to both? I think... Uh, maybe I'm reading a little too much into some of the... Some of the themes I gleaned from the trailer. I, I don't know all that much about Life is Strange, to be honest. But it certainly seems like a theme of this one is regret. <laughs> Wanting to, like, undo mistakes. That's... I've talked a little bit about the, like... The... The sentimental wave of films in the 90s, dad films, absentee father films, basically, or trying to recapture youth films, your Mrs. Doubtfire is your hooks. Uh, I guess I'm just, again, just listing Robin Williams movies, but um, maybe Life is Strange is, is, it's that in video games. I've been, I've been keen to look for those themes. I mean, certainly we have sad dad games. Don't get me wrong. Some of the most popular, much like the 90s, some of the most popular video games are sad dad video games. We're kind of, we're kind of over that era, I think, though. But I'm still, I'm still keenly on the lookout for, like, expressions of game makers getting older, I think is, is... Maybe most directly what I'm talking about. And uh, making games for older audiences that have heavier thoughts, more burdened by the world. Games for divorcees a couple of times over. And who needs freaking Nintendo Music app when you can just have 
Vampire Survivors loop Castlevania music at you for a half hour. This is living, folks. Old westerns are sad dad movies. They are, you're right. Those were the sad dad movies before, before 90s wave. There's almost always a fatherless child that needs a wandering cowboy to mentor them. Yeah. That's, that, I mean, that whole archetype is a very dad thing of like, yeah, I'm a tough hard ass that's lived a hard life, but there's still a heart beating in me somewhere. I just need circumstances to force me into it. <laughs> force me to acknowledge that I have feelings. Leon Belmont. Wait, that's actually a Belmont. Wasn't Leon from, uh... He wasn't from one of the PS2 ones, right? Oh, I should have waited to pick that up. Oh, well. well. Last of Us is absolutely a sad dad game. You kidding? You want to talk about, like, surrogate child shit? That's, that's all over that game, and it's not even that elegant about it. <laughs> Lament of Innocence. All right, yeah. Last of Us Part 1 is a sad da dad game. Last of Us Part 2... I don't know what it is. It's just a sad game, I guess. Last of Us 2 is... My parents split up when I was younger and I never got over it. I guess. I... Struggle to... I mean, of, of course, like, on, on a surface level, it's trying to be about... Themes of redemption, forgiveness, cycles of violence, all these things. It's not really, though. Because <laughs> it doesn't actually, like, resolve anything or say anything. It just wears... it wears those themes like a... like clothing. We're not gonna talk about Last of Us, despite it being a spooky game. I'm within my rights. If I wanted to. Neil Druckmann said, Last of Us Part 2 is about hate. Yeah, I guess. What are you saying, Neil? Is hate bad? Are you saying that hate is bad, Neil? Neil? My god. Wow. Give this man an award of some sort. I know it's more profound than that. Again, I'll never forgive my dad for moving out. Because now we don't have Pizza Friday anymore. Resident Evil is a sad dad game. Super Mario Brothers is a sad dad game. EA Skate. SSX Tricky is a sad dad game. All of them. Nobody's even bringing up God of War. Sheesh. Heavy Rain is a sad dad game. Cooking Mama, sad dad. Sad dad. Man's world, baby. That's just how it is. How can you say that, Captain? How can you say that? That Heavy Rain is a bad dad game. He he cuts off his finger for his child. Yeah, he is a really bad dad, though. He keeps losing them all over the place. He's the kind of guy who, uh, who drops his kids off at the GameStop and then comes back three hours later and he's pissed that they're not there. What the fuck was that? What? Oh, level up. Doing, 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 doing. tried his best. He drove the wrong way in traffic for almost 30 seconds before flipping his car and crawling to a hotel and trying to bang some lady incredibly ineffectively. And if that's a bad dad, I don't want to see a good one. Yeah, my favorite, my absolute favorite part of any story 
from a man child who's like discovering their emotions for the first time is when they're in the middle of some of like some kind of emotional revelation but they get horny because even the author like can't help it because that's they still get horny all the time too Horrible streams has redeemed a gamer stretch. Bold move. Can I, can I gamer stretch? Oh, it's a Castlevania door, and I'm fighting the bat. We're doing it, folks. We're playing Castlevania. I'm picking up contra bombs. bad is pretty hearty. Jesus Christ. Oh, it actually highlights the ones you already have. Oh, that's nice. Stallion Gate. Allows heart refreshes to materialize and grants access to new parts of Dracula's castle. Guess I can open the door now. All right, I'm going to get up and wiggle some stuff out. I'm not, I'm pretty loose already, but I'm going to loosen up. Anyway, tune in for Last of Us Part 3. Yes, Ghostwire Tokyo is free on Epic right now. Get that game. You get it. Which is weird because Microsoft owns that. So does that mean that Epic is paying subsidies to Microsoft for a game that's on Game Pass? Isn't that weird? Hold the door! Love it. Got the hallway with the candle and everything. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's the, uh, it's the teleporters from Symphony of the Night. garden area oh this wait there's a sickle what is that all about let's go get that the death sickle curved knife fires a spinning projectile at a random enemy yeah there they go <laughs> works as advertised there's another boss icon thing Seems like I can just walk up and grab it. Will they let me though? Ah! Oh no! Demon vacuum cleaners! Oh! That's what that is. Okay. Uh oh. That's a lot of vacuums. Ugh! Curved knife. Cowards wouldn't even call it the correct thing. A death cummy? Well, I'm used to everything in Vampire Survivors being, like, named a little bit wrong, you know? But they have the actual, like, names of the characters and stuff, so I don't know what that means.
Are you officially licensed or not? Okay. <laughs> no matter how much uh, the game adds and changes stuff, the coins are still the same. Oh. Do you have a an emotional attachment to the coins? A personal stake, perhaps? Ooh. I mean, the gems, I think, have never changed either. A lot of the, yeah, a lot of the launch pixel art. It is a good coin. Quality coin. Did I get that? No. Oh! Secret passages. Harm ages? It looks like meat. Aromas mana. Hmm. Going orb. I don't want to pick stuff up anymore. Game's gotten you through so much. It's a good turn the stress off button. It's pretty meditative, isn't it? I've been thinking about thinking a little bit about this since playing some a lot more action games lately. Just fast, fast action games, platformers and stuff. It's been really fun. Like kind of scratching an itch that I didn't know I had. Maybe I've gone too long without playing some fast ass games. That's theoretically what Call of Duty should be, but there's there's a strange amount of passivity sometimes in COD. I think maybe part of it too is, I don't know. I'm gonna say difficulty is a factor in that, but it's not like those, uh, it's not like arcade games or older platformers are easy. Oh, you love Binding of Isaac, but you can't seem to enjoy this one? Okay. Ah! That is interesting, though. I guess Binding feels... Yeah, it is a bit different. I'm trying to figure out... I'm trying to put, I'm trying to put my finger on why. What feels different about it? Another skull. Let's go fuck it up. Ah! It's Slorbo and Gumlat! It? I know it's Slagra. I can't remember the name of the stupid little flying guy. Slagra. Slagra and the doofer. Alright, I'll pick it up. Gaibon. Damn it. Okay. Slagra and Gaibon. Oh, dorks. Dorks of Castlevania, right here. Oh, horrible streams. Appreciate the sub. Bro! I'll just keep going up. Ooh, she thick. <laughs> Thanks for the 48 months. Four years. 
of gaming service. Thank you very much. Supporting the arts. Supporting the pursuit of excellence. Gaming superiority. Yeah, I want whatever that, that meaty thing is. There's another question mark all the way up. It's way up there, though. Got a really bust ass. I guess turn on endless. Increases in vulnerability time after getting damaged by 50 mils. Like every time? gotta constantly be taking little chip damages. Ooh. Pretty cool pixel art. Like the wings were a good investment. Ah. Oh shit, these guys are hurting. Yeet. Mm. What the fuck? Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> it turned into a side scroller. Okay. Ugh. An up makes me jump really weird. <laughs> Yeah! Awesome. Holy shit. There was a tiny thing like this in, in the Contra DLC. Oh, I have to fight me! Oh, he already got fucked. <laughs> Man, I wanted to hear that music. Boing! I was holding a little turkey leg. Okay, we're back to... Back to normal vampy survivey. Power of critical hits, I guess. Oh! Oh! I guess that raises my health? Hmm. It's a grindy thing to the right. I kind of want to get the ring. Give me that. Alright, now what do we... I'm wondering if I can... Hopefully it won't, uh... Obligate me to an upstairs path. Ah! Where are these skeletons carrying barrels? They're headed to the party. Halloween kegger. Damn it. Uh oh. I'm in a tight spot. Okay. Ah. Oh shit. Swarms are getting thick. 
Okay, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. from one of the DS Castlevanias? I can't remember. Ugh. Either way, it's extremely scary. Ah! Affect the sickle. Hmm. Beautiful. God damn. Although you can't pick stuff up when you're in like universe mode. Forgot that it did this. Ugh. Come on. I don't know if they've added any new uh, Darkana cards. I only, I don't think I played the update where they added those, or I only just became aware of them. Swirlies. Ah! Couldn't tell where I was. Ah! Uh-oh. Uh. Ah! I didn't pick up the thing. Shit. Ow! Ow! Or is that a teleporter? I wonder. Oh, no. No, no, no. Whew! Okay. Scorpion Gate. Okay, so that's how you can move ahead in the uh, in the castle after unlocking new areas. That's pretty smart. Shit! Wait, yeah, there's a chest. Pausing to see where I am. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I don't quite understand what I'm seeing here, but I'll try to go for it. It's a okay. Shit. Okay. All right. That's it's like a 
library maze, I guess. God, nothing's dying anymore. How do you get up there? Yeah. Becoming a black hole, I guess, has a confusing effect on the on the, the game's visuals. I think I'm I think I missed the hallway to go up there and get whatever. Yeah, shit. I'm gonna go back. Oh, I can't pick up chests while I'm a galaxy. I think if I pick it up, I unlock it. I don't know if I have time to go back, pick this up, and then go unlock the other character, though. Well, I can, uh, I can teleport back here. That's right. Ah! Nope! Too late. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Jesus. Wait, what? Ah, oh, I missed it again. No! Huh. Okay, that doesn't look like what I thought it did. Ah, uh, okay. Well, never mind then. It's not actually a hallway. Get up there, I wonder. Treasure? Treasure! Treasure! No? Okay. Yeah, I, there must be like a hidden path or something. What the heck was that? Whatever you pick up doesn't kick in until you turn back from being a... I guess I rolled heads. What the fuck? Just an empty spot to walk into over here? Okay. if I can make it to the end of the hallway. Uh-oh. Might be tricky. if I can get all the way around there. Ooh, a sad Chad game. Hmm. You know what? I'm Janx. I think you're correct. Duke Nukem is a sad Chad game. He's upset that those alien bastards shot up his ride. Rayman? This is like Rayman's just chilling out, taking it easy. And someone comes and fucks with his shit. Donkey Kong Country, maybe? Clock? 
Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Uh, what do I do? Come galaxy. All right, how's that encoder doing? Oh! <laughs> Just walking into a corner. Oh, turkey! Yes. Death can't touch me. Oh. You know what? Revive. I'm going for it. Didn't make it. <sighs> okay. Castlevania. Leon. Arma coins? Oh, okay, I guess that's that thing I pick up the flipped heads or tails. Neato? Yeah, some of the stuff I've done, but it uh, just didn't unlock anything. The weird dude one, I think, is bugged. Find seven heart refresher after opening the stallion game. Oh. I guess that's what the... Beat the giant Medusa head with Leon Belmont. Trevor, Sypha, Grant, Alucard, Hector, Christopher, Simon, Just, Julius, Yoko, Soma. Man, the gang's all here. Charlotte! Jonathan! Iron ball, discus, hand grenade. New skins. New skins. Leaves a hidden Savarog statue at level 5. Gets a bonus to most stats when Vampire Kill is equipped. And find special pickups. I just want to see. Okay, so it, it is just like all this map. Defeat new bosses to unlock areas. Cool. Leon's theme. Okay, so I guess you get you get new tracks from by unlocking new characters. Leon's theme. Yeah, no new Chivos, it looks like. Tragic. It's cute. Swish swish. Swish swish. Okay, so he only goes, he only goes like left or right and then diagonal up left or right. He doesn't go down at all. <laughs> That's interesting. So I'm curious about how the teleporters work. Does it just send you through all of them in a sequence, I guess, if you walk into them? This sends me here. Aha! Yes, it does. Okay. Interesting. 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 Well, well, well. I guess the guy goes back out to the garden. Okay. Yeah, so you use the teleporters to, like, run to all the boss portals, summon all the bosses, and kill all their asses. What does that do? Heart refresher. Ooh. 
curious what happens if I just go down. Does it reveal more of the map? Or is it like a different section of the world that I have to find the map? It says there's stuff down there. Walk over there. Huh? Just not allowed to get it, huh? What you doing, vampire survivors? What are you doing? You think you have to defeat the guardian? Yeah, maybe. Usually you can just grab it and leave. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know he was in there. Uh oh. What's this? What's this? Oh, I can't go in here either. Huh. Uh oh. Oh dear. Yeah. Nope. Maybe that's like an, a hidden exit from the castle? Okay, but there's not that much down here. I see. I do like the idea of uh, locking characters to one weapon. That's right, Angel Frame. I'm here to deliver spooky, scary gaming. Well, I'm actually about to take a little break so that I can do notes on the Brought You This Thing video this week. But uh, after that, definitely some spooky, scary gaming. I have Phantasmagoria 2, a puzzle of flesh installed. I'm excited to see uh, 90s... FMV game directors get real freaky. Ah, Parker has redeemed a trading card. That's that's a good way to... We can end on that note. Uh, I did play Phantasmagoria 1, yeah, a long time ago. I started it during a Halloween-themed subathon and then finished it... I think a short time later? Alright, let's draw this card. Here it is. Kablam! It's another bone card. Everyone loves bone. Phony! Four of six, high noon, today's the day. The great cow race is only hours away and phone bone, phony bone is in full swing, convincing everyone and his brother to bet on Smiley the mystery cow, knowing that Grandma Ben will pull out a victory and he'll clean up. But Lucius, as sweet on Grandma as he is, confronts phony and demands to see the mystery cow in person. You got till noon, Baldy, he warns. And this better be one scary cow. Cool. Cool, incredibly high value card there. Congratulations, Parker, on your amazing pull. And on that note, I'm gonna send y'all back to Spooky Media Tech for a minute while I watch down a video, give some notes, and then uh, hopefully we'll get some even spookier games going. The only thing I remember about Phantasmagoria 2 is having to like go on a beehive board or whatever and someone's pieces in blood.
I want a beehive board. I don't know what that is, so I'll probably get stumped on that puzzle. All right, see y'all in a bit. <laughs>